Alright, hi ho, players. Welcome to. Um. Something. Crackwell. Crackwell Unhinged. I've just. <clears throat> I've just come back from my four day crack binge that I traditionally follow up any completed game with, and now I'm recording things as I play the game. Is the commentary track. It's all filled with spoilers, so if you don't want to find out that Lauren dies at the end, then don't listen to it until you finish the game. Infinity. What a load of crap. It just keeps going on forever and ever. I mean, it never stops. I don't know what it all means. Nobody ever tells me anything. I'm Lauren Crackwell. And I'm a crack whore by profession. You might say that I... <coughs> ah, crap, it's wearing off. As you all know, this is the second game, Crackwell Unhinged. And it's a sequel to Crackwell Legacy. And you've probably heard of Blackwell Legacy. It's a fucking parody ripoff that... This asshole, Dave Gilbert, stole and said, oh, God, I hate him. And, but it's okay, because we've got pending litigation, and I can't really go into any details on it, because I know his lawyers are going to be all over this thing looking for ammo. But, Wadjedi, your number's up. in the closet again. <laughs> well, it's about time you got up, bitch. This little brat's been screaming all day. You better feed it before it yaks all over my coat. Well, hell no, Bowie. If I feed it, it'll want to stay. <laughs> shut up! You better find something to make this little bitch shut a yak before the neighbors find out you have her. It's always funny going back to a game after you finish it and take a bit of time away because, like, in this one, yeah. I don't yeah. remember a fucking thing. I mean, okay, so there's the girl in the leg warmers, and there's the pimp, and the girl wasn't in the first game. Yeah. So. yeah. It doesn't work right. Yeah, just like your tits. Why? I don't know, it sounded better in my head. It's fine right where it is. Hey, there's some crack in here. Yoink. So when you're making games, the thing to keep in mind is puzzle design. Because you got to make sure that everything works because if it doesn't work it doesn't work like in in this game there's the puddle of puke and it's got crack in it and she gets the crack from the puddle of puke and she doesn't have any crack for the rest of the game and you gotta make sure when she goes back to the puddle of crack the puddle of puke she can't get any more crack i'm not cleaning that up it's not mine I don't remember eating carrots, so I guess this is the babies. Somebody's brother died, and all I got was this lousy baby. And that damn thing won't shut up! If only you were the real Arnold. You talking to me, bitch? 
Nah, I'm talking to this poster. This dreamy, dreamy poster. You are one fucked up bitch, Lauren, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, you little bitch. Maybe this will shut you up. Here comes the airplane of crack. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that. Out like a light. Well, I got the brat quiet, but now I'm out of crack. What do you think I should do, Blowy? Your neighbor's always yammering on about that damn rock of his. That motherfucker's holding out on us. Let's go show him what for. Let's blow this joint. Stop talking about blow. You're making me Jones. I'm not in the mood for connect the dots right now. I wouldn't take this off for all the crack in China. Oh, hey. Yes, I would. I should go to China and get some crack. Damn this thing about crack from China. Ten minutes after you snort it, you want more. Bitch, that's just like regular crack. Ah, uh, now I want some crack. Hello, welcome to my... Oh, it is you. I thought I told you not to bother me anymore, you wretched cracked out prostitute. Oh, uh, it's nice to see you too, Mr. Shwarma. Don't you touch my rock, you incorrigible What the fuck is he saying? I think he's coming on to me. Ew. Blowy? Shut the hell up, bitch! We're not alone. If anyone sees you talking to Thin Air, they'll send you to rehab again. Hey, he can't eat. Can we talk? If we must, you malicious mall. What's with all this crap in here? This is the traditional decoration of my homeland. Plus, it was all on sale at Pier 1. I would appreciate it if you do not mock my heritage. Alright, we'll just mock his hair then. Ha! You've got stupid hair. Shut up, you common streetwalker. I hope you come back as a dung beetle in your next life. A really ugly one! You got any crack? No, of course I don't. What kind of degenerate low life do you take me for? Does he really want you to answer that? Get out of my apartment, you filthy drug seeking floozy! I knew it was you who took my hormone pills! Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't have my surgery until I'm properly acclimated! And I can't be properly acclimated if you keep taking my pills! Whoa! We're getting into TMI territory here. I didn't take your pills, Mr. Schwerma. Well, at least not those. I knew it! You are the bane of my existence, you repulsive call girl! I hope you move far away and that I never have to be tormented by your offspring! Something's on fire. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not falling for that one again. What do you mean, again? Never you mind. But I'm not going out there unless I see or smell some flames. Where's that rock you keep talking about? Oh, you mean my pet rock, Buster? He's over there in the corner taking his nap. We went on a long walk today through Central Park and he's just a bit peaked. Mind if I snort him? You stay away from my buster, you stupid whore! See you later. Get out of my sight, you tramp! Why do I want those? They're awful! It's not like the rest of the crap in your apartment's any better. I don't 
want that. I can't reach it, it's too high. Just like you! Oh, Blowy, I can never be too high. That's my stereo. It hasn't worked since I fell on it during a crack binge. That was an awful day. Not from where I was standing, bitch. That was hilarious. Oh, Blowy. Well, just in case I need any incriminating photos. Ugh, there he is. What is this? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, I must have written it while sober. At least I know what would make good art, and that isn't it. I may be. I. Come on, Blowy. Stop talking about blow. Hello, welcome. Oh. I thought I told you. Oh, it's not. I may be. Say crack. I may. Wah. I knew those $400 classes would pay off. I'm really evolving as a photographer. What? I'm not giving away my things. I have. I may be. do you want, sister? Do you have any crack? What do you think? I think you have crack, and you just don't want to give it to me. Man, you are one strung out bitch. I'm a goddamn ghost. How am I gonna have any crack? I don't know. Magic? Oh, that's a good idea. Alakapoof. Nothing happened. Of course nothing happened. That's because I'm not fucking magical, you stupid bitch. So, we made the art for the game. Well, we didn't... No, I already talked about the art. This, the, the, the acting. The yeah. people, they talk yeah. in this game. Uh, just like we did in the first game. In the first game, we pay people to do the talking. And it's just expensive. And you don't have any money. And so, to save money, I go to all the websites yeah. where you get yeah. sound effects and music. It's like soundgasm.com and shit like that. And you go and you listen to their samples and it says things like, This thing is property of soundgasm.com. Do not use copyright. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And so yeah. what we did is we took those and cut it up into little bits. 
and then put back together to make it sound like it's people talking. If we have any blank spots, we fill it in with the bits from Martin Luther yeah. King. And yeah. then we don't have to pay any actors. Can you set something on fire? Sure, I got just the thing. I just set fire to the crib. Now the baby's crying again. Bitch, I'm doing you a favor. Two birds with one stone. The damn thing won't shut up. Quick, give it some more crack. We don't have any crack. Oh, yeah. Let's go get some. Hey, maybe. Come on. Stop. Hello? Oh, I thought- oh, it's... Hey, he can't eat. Can we talk? If we must, you militia- I think something's on fire. Listen, you sore infested- <laughs> Oh dear, by the many stomachs of the sacred cow, the baby is ablaze. Why are you just standing there, you stupid whore? So in this game, we use a lot of puzzles from the first game, because this is a, a sequel, or prequel, or C-prequel. Oh, it's the second game. And in the first game, you get the crack from the puddle of puke, and you distract the neighbor by setting it on fire. In this game, we twist it up a bit. You get- I can't feel my face! The needs of the me outweigh the needs of the not me. Dear Vishnu, the flame is not ending. In you go. There. Now I've got a nice ground up rock. Wait a second. This isn't a crack rock at all. It's just a rock. No shit, slut lock. So where am I supposed to get some crack? You're just gonna have to buy some. I don't have any money. Well then, I guess it's time to get to work. I haven't had any calls in a while. I better check to see if my ad is still up. Somebody might have taken it down again. What devilry is this? Why would I want... It's not like the rest of the crap in your apartments and... My gods, the more the child burns, the more she giggles! Who the hell is this? Hey, you! Get away from my phone booth! I didn't know that... Madam! This phone booth was yours for the claiming. It is a public facility. Tea, after all. So at this point in the game, I should mention the guy who did the music. Yeah. The music is really yeah. good. It's by this guy. And I met him a while back in rehab. And we start talking, and he's like, I do music, but I, when I take my medicine, yeah. I just can't yeah. be creative. And I say to him, you know what? Fuck the medicine. Fuck the man. Come work for me. And so he did, and he made a bunch of music, and then I didn't pay him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I changed my locks because he was living there for a while. I don't need this sign. I have no one to call. That's where I place my ads for personal services. Somebody keeps taking them down. What's going on here? I have so many questions. Then ask! Madam! Them. You got any crack? Crack? Oh my dear, how terribly gauche. I've got something far more special for you, my dear. Oh uh, yeah? What's that? Why, some pure cocaine. 
It's simply Madam to die for. <laughs> madam, 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 madam. What can you tell me about this cocaine of yours? Why, it's absolutely pure. Pure poison. What? Oh, nothing, my dear. Madam! It's simply wonderful. Observe. <sighs> Why, that makes me feel like a million dollars. And this being 1984, <laughs> that's quite yeah. a lot of money back now. Madam! Who are you? There are those who call me the Madam. I'm the Madam! But you may... Call me the Madam. I'm the Madam! Wait a minute. Now I remember. This is the bitch that killed me. Yeah. All right, yeah. so I know, I, I know I shouldn't be saying this, but it's just so cool. Okay, so in a later game in the series, the Madam, who is the villain of this one, she's the lady. She's the villain. She yeah. is secretly Queen Cleopatra from Egypt. And she's also Rose's daughter. It's all gonna... It, it, it makes sense in context. I haven't figured out all the details, but, but it'll make sense. Why did you kill Blowy? Oh, you mean that overblown balloon that's hanging around behind you? Well, fuck you too, lady shoulder pads. It was simply a matter of... Madam! Necessity. He was encroaching on my territory, yeah. Yeah. and nobody runs the madam out of town. I'm the madam! Why are you talking like that? Talking like... Madam! What? Eh, never mind. Can I have some of your cocaine? No! Don't do it! It's a trick! Shut up, Lonely, I need this! But of course, my... Madam! Dear, as I always say, share and... I'm the madam! Share alike! Thank you so much! You're ever so well... Madam! Come. Get away from my phone booth! I don't see your name written on it. Well, that's because you took down my ad, you slut! Preposterous! I would never... I'm the madam! ...do such a thing. I don't believe you for one minute! Tut tut, my dear. You... Madam! ...have no idea what you're talking about. I'm through talking with you. Very well. Hey, I can cut this stuff with the ground rock. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, God. Oh. oh, fuck. Who's gonna take care of this bitch's niece now? All right, you little slut. I'm your daddy now. Here, take some crack. <laughs> Well, look at that. Kid, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Of Crack. So the first game, Crackwell Legacy, was a big, critical hit. Everybody loved it. But it didn't sell well, because of another game that won't be mentioned. Stole all my buzz. And so... But it, but it was real. everybody loved it. And... But... And so we took all the money. And it got attention from, from FX. And we made a straight-to-TV cable movie. And it's kind of a backdoor pilot sort of thing. And it was all really exciting. We had Kathleen and Jimmy as Rosa. And... And we had Alan Rickman as... Blowy giving all sorts of gravitas just to say, hey there, bitch, you don't be doing shit. 
And it was amazing because it's Alan Rickman. But it never aired, and test audiences were like, what the fuck is this? And so we lost all of our money. All of it. Everything left went up my nose. And so I need more money. And so I make it a sequel. And it's, it's, it's going to be really good. And I got to catch up. <laughs> <laughs>